fresh tire tracks. Wait, are these burnouts or are these brand new? side is one color and the other side's another color. The white ones suck. They're not very bright, are they? I used to hate the amber ones, but they're better than any of the LEDs. So that's new. Ah, uh, and Spring Street, Spring Street is completely dark. a doctor. We're just north of the unnamed dual railroad bridge by the projects. And in the middle distance we can hear a dance party going on. So let me take a look. Wow, and yeah, that's a little it's maxed out the eye, so. So let's drop the ISO, oh, I don't know, 12,000. 12,000. This is a 15th at 2.8, that's fine. Can you please focus, thank you. And on the right hand side of this bridge, you can see what one of the only remaining iron and truss sections left in the LA River. I think there's some more down by Washington Boulevard. But I don't drive down there that often because I can't drive all the way there from here. Can I name the bridge? I love these 
big dual fins and all the limber holes is like driving between two battleships. Oh, is this oil? Uh, this is, uh, let's see, this is Macy, and just past that is Aliso and the 101 Freeway. Macy's the wedding cake bridge, I call it. It has most of the lights working, which is my pet peeve this month. All the street lights are out, so I'm going to mark it down as Macy needs the pylon lights. And I can't see in the dark. Macy pylon. Of course, I can see it in the pictures later. And off in the far distance, you can still hear the whoops. Their rock concert ended suddenly, didn't it? Okay. Is that a baby bat? There's a little bat. There's a dead teddy bear. Oh. Alright, here's Aliso. I usually like shooting this when there's a lot of fog. Aliso was here before the freeway came. Uh, I guess that probably took a lot of contortioning to put a, pave the river and put a freeway under a bridge that's already there. Oh, here's the speed bump. I was just about to say, where's that speed bump? Boom. Hey, you know what? I think they replaced all the street lights I complained about. But not all of them, just most of them. You can tell because they're different colors. There goes a bat. And again with the pylons. They need to have the lights replaced in the pylons. Yeah, I think these were out last time. <clears throat> this bridge has always been kind of dark at night. searchlights. Whoops, what was that? Here comes a northbound train, probably an Amtrak. The freights are usually on this side and Amtrak on the other. Alright, how does 4th Street look? 4th Street looks a little sad. And it has... They, it's weird, they changed some of the street lights, but they didn't fix all of them. Why not just do them all if you're there? And this is Anna. This is the third or fourth time we've driven down to 6th Street at night. And the colored lights are not on. This is the third or fourth time I came here in a row and the lights are not on, but they're on for all the other photographers. Did you get that with the train? That was a nice shot. All right, so fourth pylons. Let's drive down to Olympic. Fourth pylons. I want all the lights on in my pictures. Having, having 6th Street here with all of these bright lights on changes the whole dynamic. The lights are too bright, but I, it's almost like they're not as bright as they used to be. Like they dimmed them a little bit. Can they do that? 
are they going to have colored lights on? Alright, I see someone up there. And I see a lot of stuff in the river in front of us. Now, it looks like the west side driveway into the river is still closed. And they still have porta potties and stuff down here. pouring concrete here. Oh, really? Alright, we'll check it out on the way back. Coming up is 7th Street, which has some lights working. So we need to write down 7th West. Most of 7th Street is off. 7th Street is that double-decker bridge where the original road surface is on top of the pylons and the second road surface is on the very top and people, homeless people live in between. Although I heard someone say 10 years ago that they were going to put a restaurant in there which wouldn't have been spectacular about 10 days a year when the river is storming. Lots of trash here at 7th Street. Coming up is the 10 Freeway. Isn't there supposed to be another speed bump somewhere? Yeah. There's all kinds of... Look at the... What are you? Are you a ptarmigan? All kinds of birds in here. reasonable explanation that they won't tell me. Olympic North. I run out of hand to ride on. Alright. So I'm going to make a pit stop here and turn around and go back to 6th for our first night tour, abbreviated but night tour. Let's drive as far down as we can, which isn't much farther, Washington. Turn around and come back and shoot this, and then go to 6 and shoot that. And then groceries. Alright, Olympic, which used to be called 9th Street, is one of my favorite bridges because of the structure. I love the, the arches here are more exuberant than 6th Street and the others somehow. I get really good pictures in the fog. 
Now if you look at the two pylons going up where the arches come into the pylon, there's a little ring or ledge right where the arches go into the pylon and that's a, about a foot or two above the actual bottom of the river as built. The pylons themselves below the pylons are almost completely underground. absorber all right now this is interesting because I never drive all the way down here because the water gets too deep and swirly and I don't want to call AAA because if there's no address they won't go to it If we were to actually drive down in here, I would be a lot happier to do it in the daytime. At least at first. Because there's so many bridges right here, I don't actually keep track of which is what. One of these is Washington Boulevard, and I think it might be the big double truss up ahead. This one right here, I don't know if it has a name. Um, yeah, maybe I'll take a picture here maybe what you should do is sit in the back with a sliding door open and shoot out the door but uh, I'll leave the car on because I'm just gonna shoot one or two because I never come down here is it on no it's not on now it's on Oh yeah, it got dark. An eighth of a second. I'm really good at shooting low light. If I say so myself. No, oh, focus on the bridge. Oh, good. No, focus on the bridge. Where is the... I want it to focus right there. Thank you. Yeah, I should really come down here and explore some more. But we're doing it at night. It's a lot smarter to go in the daytime. Let's see, how far can we go? I kind of like this car. I think I'm going to do a loop around, uh, around this pylon and turn around because so you can see once you get down here it gets pinky really fast. Oh wow you can see inside the pylon. I love seeing inside them. What's in there? You got good video of that? Wait. Why did they paint out the graffiti here? Oof. There's all kinds of drains and valves and stuff. I'd rather do it in the daytime. And we could see what foolishness we're getting into. But this is really interesting. Um, when I had my Pontiac Grand Prix, I didn't come down here very much because that's a very low car, very low tires. And this is a minivan that's much higher. Maybe we could go another, I don't know, quarter mile farther down. Woohoo! Just keep an eye out for the bats.
side is dark because there's no street lights. Car parts. Spray cans, but no spray paint. Alright, let's go up there and get a cool picture of dusty and dirty right here, probably from the cars and the trucks and their brakes. A lot of columns. You can see the earthquake reinforcement, those big rectangles on top of the columns. They jacketed everything. I sure hope this stays up in the big earthquake. side of the bridge of the bridge shit do you think that was glass oh man that they're changing the street lights on the south side of all the bridges and then later they'll do the north side i remember this being much brighter when it opened which was super annoying man i keep finding glass with my car Alright, where can I park? But they won't throw rocks at me. I see a picture. Here we are on the east bank, just south of the 6th Street Bridge. I haven't been here for maybe a month. It looks like they've attenuated what I call the ankle searchlights. As if you zoom in and look at 4th Street Bridge, there's no longer light shining on that bridge from 6th Street Bridge. And I was remarking on the drive here that these lights look much calmer and more relaxed than they were when the bridge first opened. What we're doing tonight is I'm going to photograph these two pylons with the spotlights on them. I'm glad I got the pictures I did because they've changed the lights and the, the same picture is no longer available. This is the third or fourth time in a row that I've come here at night to shoot the colored lights and they're not on. I wonder how does one find out, is there a schedule or is it random or how does it work? All right, I'm gonna change lenses for a second here. The Canon RF 50 1.2 is one of the two best lenses I've ever experienced in my life. They could put a bigger red dot on it for shooting in the dark. This is an astonishingly sharp lens. 
Oh. Let's go for a little stroll. See the people up there? He's really flying. Isn't he? All right, now I've got video too. Look how dingy and drab Fourth Street looks. It's got smoke all over it and the paint's like 50 years old. I wish they would fix it up like this bridge. They've changed some of the street lights. Dear City of Los Angeles, could you please change all of the street lights? I'm so happy. I want it to focus in the middle. focusing on that. Alright, the problem with getting your fancy pants big camera is it can be really complicated. Uh, AF method, I want big center. <laughs> what are even are those sounds? What are they doing? Alright, be careful when you go under the bridge that people don't drop rocks on you or bottles or something. What's happening? Here's where they're still pouring concrete. What has it been? Two months, three months since the bridge opened? It's not actually finished. And you see the elastic mount isolators, the earthquake bearings halfway up each pylon. They, they don't look finished. They look like they should be enclosed and uh, I wonder if they ever will be. Yes, it's a jarring juxtaposition of this new swoopy, what do you call it, freeway architecture. <sighs> Juxtaposed with the 4th Street Bridge, which was uh, gothic. And then 1st Street Bridge, which is in the middle distance. I'm not sure what style that is. Um, and I don't know what to call this style. 6th Street Bridge style. Alright, let's... Let's walk up to the other side and turn around and come back and then we'll take off. Maybe I'll change lenses again. I never bring the light lens. Okay, here's something. 
you'll see how the layout of the new bridge is different because the driveway on the west bank used to be under the center of the old bridge so the new bridge has shifted to the south probably to take out that kink in the road that people take at 60 miles an hour and crash not anymore it's all fixed all right we have a uh, an unfortunate history with helicopters in the river. So while it's flying over, we'll just stand real still and see if it doesn't notice us. Unlike last time. Yeah, because Anna will tell you that I'll call up the helicopter people and yell at them to leave me alone. Last time they did. So you can see this new concrete here covering up something just like that with all that rebar where they're patching the riverbank itself. Um, I wish they would patch those holes in the river bed. But, uh, let's see if we can... Uh, what lens do I want? They're all at home. I, I think I've already got what I came for, but we'll, we'll swap lenses and shoot it again on our way out. And they did something because the light is no longer shining on 4th Street Bridge like it was. That was super annoying. And in other news, you could see through the driveway now. So why is it blocked? I have the feeling they enter... Where did you go? They enter the river right here, come across on their little metal bridge, work on the east bank, and then they leave out the west bank, and then they put that hay rail there to keep people like me out. Let's see what we got in our toy box. Let's try an actual telephoto. This lens is fun. I love it. I couldn't decide on the 50 or the 85. I sort of bought both. <laughs> Back in the days when we had money. Where is the zoom? Here's the zoom. This is the same lens that Anna's shooting with right now, except changed to an RF mount. The optics are pretty much the same. A couple years newer. You can tell I'm tired by how slow I zip stuff. Okay. But now since this is an F4 zoom, we're going to have to knock the shutter speed, the ISO rather, we're going to knock it up to auto and see what... Who is this guy auto? Oh, why is it on manual focus? That. It looks so much nicer without those bright lights on it. Don't worry, 4th Street. We still love you. 4th Street's not getting any love. One, two, three. It's almost fixed. Just a couple more lights. All right, let's go north about another 100 feet and turn around. Can you... What's all the way through there? Is there someone there? wanted to focus in one spot. And I won't do it.
Oh, yes. Yeah. ISO 40,000 is getting up there. Are they doing donuts right now? Because I hear, I heard tires squealing. Yeah. Oh. All right, I'm trying to get it up to... Oh, dude, there's stairs right here. I'm trying to get it up to run up the bank. There's stairs right here. Look, graffiti. They're a nice new bridge. Look at the erosion of the riverbed from gravel and then you look at the river bank which is made at the same time or within a year or two and it's practically uneroded so all the schmoo in the river when it floods if you look around you can see all sorts of things going on and there's a lot of people there in between the two pylons Let's see can i get a picture of that Flying, isn't he? 